Remove the battery. Open fuel filler cap and check whether the vehicle is petrol or diesel. Open all remaining filling caps. Remove the wheels. Place the vehicle on the rack. Attention! Ensure the vehicle position corrects with the centre of gravity in the middle. After placing the car, bring the staircase into position. Make sure that the movable staircase is locked into the correct position against the bumper of the car. Connect the rack's earthing cable with the vehicle. Check if the oil funnels are clean then bring them into position. The order of the different working steps must be decided by the technician individually. Switch on the brake, coolant, washer and waste oil pump on the pump control unit. Levers down. Suck out brake fluid from above. Always close the ball valve after use. Suck out coolant fluid from above. Always close the ball valve after use. Suck out washer fluid from above. Always close the ball valve after use. Connect pressure set. Switch off the brake, coolant, washer and waste oil pump on the pump control unit. Levers horizontal. Adjust the fuel control to the respective fuel. Before drilling, the lever of the quality control must be placed in centre position. Switch on the fuel pump, diesel or petrol, and check the vacuum. Position the tank drilling machine at the lowest point on the tank and fix the shaft with the level. Determine the wheels and press the drill bit up to the tank. Fix the lever. Position and lock the height of the tank drilling machine. Start the tank drilling machine by pressing the air valve of the air ratchet. Then slowly push the foot pedal downwards until the end. Visual inspection of the fuel via transparent hose. Attention. Please take care not to drill in the tank pump. The fuel is pumped into the quality control glass, where the quality can visually be inspected. From the quality control, a decision needs to be made if the fuel is clean or contaminated. By moving the ball valve left or right, fuel will be directed to either the clean or dirty storage tank. Be advised, if the handle is left in the middle position, all the fuel will be pumped to the dirty storage tank by default. Until reaching the overflow pipe, it is still possible to decide which pipe, clean, dirty, the respective fuel is directed into. The quality control glass has a 7 litre capacity. If a vehicle has compartmentalised fuel tank or a tank with ant sloshing walls, multiple holes will need to be drilled at different places. Once done draining, plug the hole. Once the drainage process has been completed, return the quality control level to the centre, quality control position. Switch the fuel pump off. Switch the waste oil pump on. Bring the swing arm in position. Adjust it to the correct height using the pneumatic height adjustment. Open the oil drain plug. After draining, close the funnels, depending on the model.
and close the oil drain plug. Without drain plug. Make sure that the correct distance sleeve has been inserted before drilling. Bring the grey box drilling machine in position and start drilling. For this purpose, the ball valve at the funnel must be closed and the ball valve at the gearbox drilling machine must be open. After depollution, close the hole using a cap. Switch off pump for waste oil. Switch on pump for brake fluid. If suctioning via the brake nipple is not possible, use brake pipe pliers or brake hose pliers instead. Both pliers must be fitted with a rubber grommet from the brake hose set. Attention! Ensure that the unused rubber grommets are put back on the storage nipple. Switch off pump for brake fluid. Switch on pump for waste oil. Shock absorber oil is sucked off using the SOG2. Drill or drain the residual oil hose. If drilling is not possible, remove the whole shock absorber. After draining, close the whole cap. The hydraulic oil is sucked off with the hose gun. With the help of the hose gun, the residual oil hose is drilled or suctioned. Switch off pump for waste oil. Switch on pump for coolant. Draining the cooling fluid from below, open the oil and stick into deepest point of the heating circuit hose. Always close the oil after use. Switch off pump for coolant. Switch on pump for screen washer fluid. Open the oil and stick into the deepest point of the screen washer reservoir. Always close the oil after use. Switch off pump for screen washer fluid.